So today's video is going to be on replacing the steering arms which I believe are worn out at the joints causing a toe out on the wheels as I'm going forward. The steering links that I bought are supposed to be heavy duty and the long links are adjustable so you can tow in and tow out the machine however you like. I jacked it up with a automotive jack on this part of the frame here which connects the mower deck put it up on blocks because I think that would be the best way it's pretty high up so jack stands I don't think my jack stands reach that high and I'm hoping that uh, when I undo all this stuff the wheels don't go crazy and slide off but uh, I don't think they will and I just took the front link off the mower to lower the mowing deck as far as I could so that I can access the steering. I think what I'm going to do is just take the bolt out of the plate with the teeth on it, take it right out, and then the uh, other end of the steering links will come with it and I can just take them off from there and rebolt the plate as opposed to taking the steering links off of the plate on the tractor because they are rather inaccessible. Not completely, but uh, I think it'd be a lot easier just taking the bolt off and taking the the steering plate or rack or whatever you want to call it out that way. So, I will remove this so I don't hit myself in the head with it. And, uh, I aired up the air compressor because I imagine that bolt that holds the, the teeth plate will, uh, be hard to come out. So, let's get started. First we're going to try the easiest one. And they are on there super tight. This is going to be fun. Yeah. I guess we'll have to try the breaker bar. Okay, let's see if this works. Yes, we have movement. Not a whole lot of room to work here. Now that that's out of the way.
one thing's for sure, these are on there good and tight. And at awkward angles. You need pullers to get them out. I'll be back in a minute. I need to get an extension to get that other one with the breaker bar. Okay. Maybe I didn't need the extension because it won't fit. I think I can get this in there. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Guessing I should have left that in there. Could have been bad. Kind of need to, to leave that in there so you can uh, turn the nut because it just turns the wheel. And of course, my socket went flying somewhere. We're off to a great start. So I'm using a 14 millimeter on the nut and a 13 millimeter wrench on the jam nut. Let me think about this. 